Now here's what's interesting. We had a crap load of contestants. A couple of the ladies didn't show up, but I don't think you're going to be disappointed with Randy Seville. Come on out, Randy. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. This is like the club attire section of our contest. Come on out here, lovely. And if you like what you see, hold that cold Budweiser beer up and make some noise for her. Wait a second. Hey, Troy, can you turn the music off for a second? I said, hold that cold beer up and make some noise for this lovely lady. Thank you, Troy. Hey, remember, Randy, to, uh, to play it up to the judges because these people determine the $1,000 first place prize. Nice. And don't forget about these people over here that have been drinking 483 cold beers since this morning. Yes, Randy. What's interesting is she's 34, 30, and remember, anything I say is for the kids, all right? 34, 26, 34. She loves pizza, cold beer, and a bikini on a quiet island. Interesting. Is it wrong to say I love you, Randy? Thank you very much. Oh, Ashley. I like the word describing her hair, dirty blonde. And it's nice and long. Hello, Ashley. Say hello, Ashley, on three. One, two, three. Nice. Now, if she was looking for a man, she likes somebody who's funny, loyal, respectful, cute, and a goal setter. I can think of a couple of goals, two in particular, that we would want to set for Ashley. Ashley, don't forget the judges. Edgar, lock your eyes on these. Take yes. that dress off. Yes, thank you so much. That's a goal. Kristen Whittington. Come on out, Kristen. I'm talking about five foot one. I'm talking about 34, 26, 31. Who likes to go to the beach and bring a 12-pack of cold beer with them? Because she does. Hang on a second. Kristen, come here. Troy, would you cut that music, my man? No, I'm not going to embarrass you. I'm just going to say, is there anything interesting, unique, and special about your you about an, a, talent, a talent that you have? She says, I can burp louder than any guy. You know what? At the end of the day, it's all about burping, drinking, and just having some fun with Kristen, man. Thank you so much, Kristen. Wow, I gotta love that butt. I've never even met her, but I feel like I love her already. Jennifer Young. Now take your time. Let's just go slow motion on this, all right? Just take your time. Jennifer, the judges need some time to look over you. Dream vacation is an African safari. Who wants to sign up to take a safari with her? Oh goodness. Oh goodness. No, don't don't leave the judges so soon. I think what you need to do. No pun intended, Ed. Crab walk to the left for these judges right now. Go ahead. Just take your time. Take your time. Yes. Donnie, come on, man. You know what I like? She works for the Wing House, and she was in the 2014 Wing House calendar. Is that correct? Boom! It's coming up. Well, yeah, I guess it would. We're not in 2014 yet. Jennifer, thank you so much. You look fantastic, as do all these ladies. So I'm going to have to ask her about her nickname, and I'll have her tell you about it, but it's Corey Crumpacker. Hello, Corey. she like to do? Anything in or around the sea? Her dream vacation? Spear fishing in Costa. Here's what I want to know. Hey Troy, would you cut that music for a second? Corey, what is your nickname? Corn dog. Corn dog. What? I mean, you got to tell us about the origin of the corn dog nickname. It's my sense of humor. It's corny. I don't know. That corn dog. All right, I was thinking something else, but it's corn dog. Corn dog, crumpbacker. Congratulations, and she's looking so good. Take your time with the judges. JJ, what are your thoughts, my man? You, yeah, thumbs up. All right. 
Oh yeah. Hey, remember, any cold beer purchase between now and the end of the contest, including tips, goes to the charities. So drink a cold beer. And near. Nice. Hello, lovely lady. Wow, she likes to ride motorcycles. Who here has a nasty hog that they'd like to ride with her? Yes. I'm thinking classy, and I like the uh, the bottom of your shoes and that color. I know what's up there. Nice work, lady. Now, I don't believe this. Now, this is like something that all women would say in a bikini contest. She likes tanning in the nude. Is that legit? No tan line. If you're a fan of no tan line, put those cold beers up in the air. I was a fan of the dude. And what's interesting is she's also a twin. Oh, damn. I just got two words. Oh, damn. Nice work, lovely. Thank you, contestant number 11, but number one in JJ's heart. Yeah, I hope it's another girl. You want us? <laughs> you want us to see the twins? I don't think that's what she's talking about, though. <laughs> so our next contestant is Renee. Hello, Renee. Hey, maybe we can all say hello, Renee, on three. One, two, three. Hello, Renee. Wow. Is that short in the back or is that short in the back? It is pretty damn short. That's short enough. I think the judges need to determine that. Take your time because the judges make the final decision, Miss Renee. Cut your toes. Cut your toes. Jesus. Oh, yes. So she likes a guy who's fit, muscular, and funny. Oh, I see a bunch of guys pointing. Yep, yep, yep. I get it, guys. I get it. Nice. Looking wonderful. I like that tattoo as well. Very classy. We're just keeping it classy. That's all we're doing. Oh, yes. Hello, Tiara. That's Tiara. Tiara Ray. She likes boats. Hey, does anybody in the crowd here own a boat? Put your cold beers up so we can see who owns a boat. Phew, she likes to go out on a boat. And I'm not so sure I believe this. You say you can bench press 200 pounds? Well, I think you need to go to the end of the stage and flex for these people. 200 pounds is a lot of weight for a little petite one like you, and I like it. Nice. Tierra Ray, thank you very much. Contestant 15. All right, come on out, lovely. I love the get-up. I love the get-up. Jennifer, hello, Jennifer. If you guys like what you see, I think you should make a little bit of noise for Jennifer. Nice. Wow. Now take your time in front of these judges. Yeah, try that crab walk, man, from the front to the right, from the front to the right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Nice work. Thank you, Jennifer. Damn! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Take your time around that thing. Will you take that like three more times around? Just remember, even Jennifer agrees, we're all doing it for the children today. I love that, and if you do too, make some damn noise. Thank you so much. Hey, do we have any fishermen, any anglers with a dangler here today? Put your hands up, because this lovely lady, Alyssa, loves to go fishing. Would you take her fishing? Edgar, would you take her on a crab boat? It would be a crab boat. You, Edgar says he would give her crabs. I'm going to say this right now. I'm not trying to mark out. Hang out for a second. It's cool as hell to have Edgar from the Deadliest Catch in the house and a local of Sarasota, Florida. Boom. I know Seattle. I was born in Portland, but you got to love Sarasota, too, and we're glad to have you here, man. Alyssa, take some time. I mean, there's just too much effort put into your body not to take some time on this stage. Don't you agree with that? 
Who wants to see her come out here for 30 seconds and then dart back into the RV? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Very nice. Thank you, Alyssa. Wow. Two words for our next contestant. My favorite Double jointed. Come on out, Marley. And you will be proving it today, trust me. Give it up for Marley French. Brings in Florida, USA. So Marley, let me ask you a quick question. Tell me about your double jointedness. Is it it's double jointedness? This way. What? This way. Ooh. Hang on a second. Do it again. Do it for the judges. Come on, man. She can get out of handcuffs. Have you had to before? Officer, may I suggest a nightstick? Try it again for the judges. Just do that one more. That's pretty impressive. That hurts me looking. Oh, geez. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. There's no way you're not doing it for this side because you hear the news and the odds. Do that one more time, please. That makes me nervous. Good God, man. I like that a lot. If you like double jointedness, make some noise. If all of a sudden you think you're now double jointed, make some noise. Thank you, Marley. You look wonderful. Avion? Avian French. Come on out, Avian. Very similar to Evian. Who would like to drink some Evian? You look wonderful is what I'm going to tell you something. I like your classy ass heels too. Take your time for the judges. Take your time for the crowd. No, no, no. There's no way you're leaving this stage so fast. Slow it down, man. She likes to work out and play with her French bulldog. Some, po some call it a Frenchie. And your last name's French. Ooh. You know, if you were wearing, like, no shoes, I would ask you to do some jumping jacks with these people. I swear to God. Would you like to see her do some jumping jacks? Yeah! Will you take those shoes off and do a couple of jumping jacks? Yeah, yeah just do it. Do you want to see her do some jumping jacks or not? Yeah! Lean on me. Yeah. Yes. We're gonna do five, and we're gonna count down from five, four, three, two, one, so. You don't know how to count. Step right up here. We'll just do some jumping jacks. And here we go, here we go, you ready? One, two, three, go! Five, four, three, two, one. Classy, Get, come on, she's playing along and she is working for that money today. Thank you very, very much. I wish I was on the front side of those jumping jacks. So please welcome Georgia to the stage. Me likey Georgia. Hello, Georgia. Wow. 34, 27, 36. I say who cares, because you're looking at it right there and it looks fantastic. Oh, I like those, those heels. I have a, no, 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 you have to go back. Back that way. Her nickname is JB. Mm. Mm. Judges, take your time. I don't know what Tommy's doing. He's angling for like some celebration after. Yeah, just take your time. Yes. Nice. Georgia, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Can go home now? All right, so our next contestant, hang on a second. Does anybody own a jet ski? She likes to jet ski in hurricanes. Her name's Jasmine. Come on out. No, Jasmine. Hang on. Come on out, Jasmine. Come on out, Jasmine. Yes. Boom. 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 Wow, her ideal vacation. It's pretty specific. Bora Bora with Vin Diesel. 
She likes to compete in tough mutter events. Really? Jasmine, take your time, lady. Let's just go, I'll tell you what, can you do this? Can you sidestep it backwards around the stage like this? Or, yeah, just go to, your, go to your right, take your time, and one, and two, and three. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you, Jasmine, looking so good. If anybody needs a cold beer, they're cold and the money raised, I know I'm saying it a lot, but it's important, man. That's why we're here. The money raised goes to uh, benefit children here. Amy. Bring your hotness to the stage. Please give it up for Amy right now. You know what I find interesting? In college, she was in band and played the French horn. Does anybody want to know what her lung capacity is like? I think that's pretty special. And I love the, I mean, that's perfect, perfect hem job on that dress. Yes. Now, you're not finished. I think you need to turn around and give it up for the judges. Amy Brown. Says she's 32, 25, 34, 32 D, D stands for delicious. Please give it up for Amy right now. This is a pretty great way to spend the afternoon. So we should give it up for the fact that none of us are really working today and we're just hanging out in Florida. That's good because a lot of people pay a lot of money to vacation where we are right now. Well, hello, Michelle Skipper. Will you guys say hello to Michelle on three? One, two, three. Nice. Wow. I love the fact that not only does she ride motorcycles, but she specifically rides a dirt bike. That's pretty hot, man. Wow. Maybe just take your time around that stage, lady. I think they wouldn't kick you off this stage. Michelle looking so, so nice. By the way, that's what 98 pounds looks like. Thank you very, very, very much. There are a lot of pretty ladies here. Will you please give everybody a round of applause? Woo! I mean, you guys are getting blasted, sweating balls, but these ladies are putting on a performance for you, man. Come on out, Margie. You know what? Does she not look like a girl next door, Margie? All-American beautiful lady. There are not too many ladies that would actually put down two things under a unique talent. One is contortionist. And if she needs to prove it, then you better make some damn noise. You're a contortionist. She is wearing a dress and unfortunately we're just keeping it classy. But the other thing I find interesting is you can do a hundred push-ups in a row. I know I'm not the only dude here that doesn't believe it unless we see it. Could you just rifle off like a dozen push-ups? Take your shoes. Does anybody want to see her do some push-ups? Oh damn. It's too bad that I'm the only one with this view. Like, that's a badass woman. Give it up for Margie, please. And Margie, there is no way you're leaving this stage because I'm not gonna be one of those punk-ass stupid hosts that doesn't make you do at least a half a dozen push-ups this way. There's no way. It's not about me. Margie, you're kicking some ass, as are all the ladies. Thank you.
thank you so much. What? You know what? I love the name Emily, and I think you will too. Come on out, lovely lady. Wow! Hello, Emily. Please say hello to Emily. So I love the fact that she was born and raised in Sarasota County. I love the fact that she's half Cherokee Indian. And she's a surgical technologist. Those are two big words for me to pronounce, but I think she's smart and talented, as you can see here. Wow, JJ, you're Italian. She wants to spend some time in Italy. In your case, it might be Little Italy, but I'm just saying what it might be. Boom. You're a good man. You are a good man. Emily, please give it up for Emily, who's looking so sexy, as all, all, all of these ladies. Oh, damn. I'm going to tell you right now, this next lady has three kids. She's from New Orleans. She can cook anything spicy and hot. And she likes to shoot guns. She always hits a bullseye. Give it up for Heather Diamond. Boom. Does anybody like to trap shoot, skeet shoot, or target shoot? Would anybody let Heather shoot their firearm? Oh, yes. Yes, take it back by the judges. Edgar, you look lost in thought, man. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. Heather Diamond. Thank you so much. Uh-oh, she's coming back for more. It's all about judging, isn't it, Tommy? Nice work. So I'm going to say this right now. It's not last, it's not least. She's a beautiful woman named Amanda Cleveland. Give it up for Amanda and her 34 Ds. Wow. I'm wondering if these... Interesting. Hey, Troy, a favor, real quick. Will you shut that music off? I see that you're a registered nurse. I call, I'm just going to break out some technology and terminology. Uh, that's an RN, right? Does anybody need their temperature taken? JJ, do you? Okay. Thank you, Troy. Amanda, looking so, so nice. Hey, will you uh, just take a one slow round around around the stage, please? Don't forget the people over here that have been drinking all day and starting to hallucinate from the sunshine. That could almost be the perfect hand right there. Do you agree with that? Nice. Amanda, thank you so much. So here is the perfect time to grab another cold beer. Don't tell me those beers are not empty or warm. Refresh. Remember, beer purchases, including tips, will go to Suncoast Charities for Children. We'll be back in a few minutes with the next round, which is the bikini round, which I like. And honestly, I really can't say it enough. I'm just one small part, as we all are, well, adding up to quite a bit for the uh, Suncoast Charities for Children. This is a pretty kick-ass event. And I uh, also want to thank Budweiser, Gold Coast Eagle Distributing. Ooh. Randy, bring it, lady. How many would like to see Randy in a bikini versus club wear? I believe uh, all of our judges, are all of our judges back? Okay. Randy. No, 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 you are not leaving. If you like what you see with Randy, come on, bring it with a little bit more noise, man. And really, that goes for all the ladies that are up here in damn bikinis. 
Like anybody wants to see 28 dudes in G-strings put on backwards. No way, man. Oh, Randy. Oh, Randy. I just told her we needed to have a drink later. What's wrong with that? Nice. <laughs> All right, Ashley, please welcome Ashley in her little tiny bikini to the stage. Wow. So she has an amazing identical twin sister. Yeah, I would like to see the twins, straight up. She says she is studying to become the best lawyer in the United States of America. Holy crap, man. Just, yeah, slow everything down. Can you put the, Troy, can you put the music on slow-mo? Just, like, take a tour around that stage again, man. Wow. I do believe that, you, yeah. Our judges are the only ones clapping. Come on, give it up. It's Ashley. Thank you, lovely. It's almost time. I think it is time for Kristen to take the stage. She's the one that can burp louder. Imagine shotgunning 50 beers with her and listening to her burp. Oh my goodness. Who could give a shit about her burping? Let's give it up for her body in that bikini. I think we gotta do this. And we're gonna do it in three different installments. First, we're gonna do it for this side. Then we're gonna do it for this side. Then we're gonna do it for this side. Hey, Troy, would you cut that music real quick? This is what I call a clinger, clinger, bend over and grab your ankle contest. Just turn over around here like this. I don't mean to give you the full pelican, boys. Now we're gonna do it for this side, around here. Hey, judges, right here. Here we go. Boom. Okay, give it up for Kristen. Thank you, lovely. Hey, can you burp on command? Do you want to hear a burp on command? Okay, here we go. There's something charming about that, and I like it. Thank you. Just keeping it real and keeping it classy. I don't need any more competition. Jennifer Young, say hello to her in her bikini, please. You look so serious, it looks as though you're studying for like the bar exam, you're just... I get that your wife is here and I got your back, my man. You won't hear any more shit out of me. That's all you had to say, I respect it. Wow! Can we have a wow on three? One, two, three! One more time, a little bit louder with everybody participating. One, two, three! Nice! Thank you, Jennifer! Awesome. All right, Corey, come on out, Corey. Boom. If you like what you see in Corey, and you may think she should be first place, make some noise. What's interesting is, you're not finished yet, by the way. What's interesting is your eye color. It says blue with a gold ring. Holy cow. It's blue, it's got a gold ring. Give it up for Corey. One more time around the stage, Corey. Before we bring out Ed Neer, hold that thought. Who's the one with that damn train horn? Because I want to hear that again. It's right there. Nice work, bro. Ed Neer Marie, come on out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, 
yes. So naturally beautiful and near. Give it up for it near. Oh boy. And remember, this is one of a couple of contestants this year with a twin sister. I know. You want to see the twins. And it's all for the kids. I get it and I respect you for it, Donnie. Oh boy. I sort of feel like these people over here are getting the short end of the stick. Maybe you could just hang out for some pictures real quick in here. Thank you, Adair. Hey, before we bring out our next contestant, can I just give a toast to everybody here? If you got a beer, if you got a bottle of water and you're an al recovering alcoholic, it doesn't matter. Bring it in right now. Let's have a toast. Her name is Renee. Oh, hello, Renee. Wow! So can anybody guess what she is very enthusiastic about? And if you were to say, hey, Claire, she loves snakes, you'd be correct. She's a snake lover. Who's got a snake they would like to show this lovely lady? Not talking about a little gardener snake, all right? So simmer down now. Renee, you're hot, and I think everybody needs to see you one last time. Yes. Thank you. I think I just saw her read, I just read her lips. She said, you son of a bitch. <laughs> JJ, what's up, my man? Tiara. Tiara's just going to simply keep it real on this stage right now. She's competing for $1,000. I mean, $1,000 tax-free is not any chump change. Remember, she's the one that can bench press 200 LBs. Nice work. Wow. Hey, will you just take a little time and just face me and just stop so these people can just check that out for a second? Over here now, please. Maybe over here. Just, yeah, face this up the other way around, please. Yep, 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 yep. Nice. Who could just stare at that for hours? And it would sort of impress me if some ladies made some noise, quite frankly. Thank you, Tiara. Her name's Jennifer. Come on to the stage, Jennifer. Wow, who prefers Jennifer in a bikini versus clubwear? Wow. I mean, and just in case you're wondering, it's not like I'm being a dirtball, but this is what 110 pounds looks like. Wow. Wait a second. Is that a pearl necklace? That it, those are pearls. It's a necklace. Wow. Does anybody want her to spend a few more seconds on the stage? I'm gonna tell you right now, every lady in this contest is legit. You're like, thank you, Clinger, for mentioning that, because we can see it with our own damn eyes. Thank you, Jennifer. Oh, wait, is she giving away the pearl necklace? Who wants that pearl necklace? Imagine if she choked you out with that thing, boss. Thank you, Jennifer. Has she been drinking? I think she's drunk. Remember, two words, recreational shooting. Alyssa, please come to this stage right now. That is one of her favorite hobbies. I can think of a couple of targets when we're thinking about Alyssa. And yeah, the obvious is like the top heaviness, but would you turn around and show the people these piercings? Like, did that hurt? No, of course it doesn't. 
Of course it doesn't. Yeah, make sure you give some judges. Even though a married man is on the panel, you take your time. Just, yeah, right down here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Edgar Hansen, hello. I want this on my Twitter. There we go, Edgar Hansen, deadliest catch in three, two, one. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, how about everybody else get a picture with uh, Edgar? Thank you, lovely. So he's gonna stand right here, and you guys put the put your hands up in the air. We'll take a picture of everybody. We're gonna do it this way, this way, and this way. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's do it. Thank you. Now let's go over this side, dude, because this is pretty kick-ass. Here we go. In one, two, three. And finally this side with a badass crab fisherman. One, two, three. Yes. Two words that describe Marley French, double jointed. Come on out, Marley. Now, I know you guys are pretty impressed in clubwear seeing her double jointedness, but does anybody want to see that again? I see this guy up front. Hell no, Clinger. Hell no, man. Nice. Yes, it got real quiet. So I think it's time to break out your little trick. Just one time. It doesn't hurt, you're double jointed. Can I just ask you a serious question? Because we're, I mean, I'm hosting a bikini contest. How would you ever figure out that you could do that? You just keep doing it until you can put it over. I know, but I'm saying from the beginning, did you just start jacking around with your arms and like, okay. You get bored sometimes, I get it, and I respect it. Give it up for Marley French. Thank you, contestant number 16. She's contestant 18, but her real name is Avion. Come on, lovely. Miss French. Two contestants with the same last name. Very interesting. Oh, boy. I think we're actually seeing a couple things in particular that we did not see with the club wear. Does anybody agree? And can you figure out what I'm talking about? Tattoo. Nice. Wow. Thank you, Miss French. Oh boy. Look at these two judges over here. 800 beers later. This is what it looks like. Nice work, boys. She can sing. She can dance, and her name's Georgia. Take a good look at what Georgia looks like. Georgia Beth Douglas. How many people think those high heels need to come off for a second? Anyone? Georgia, can you take those off for a second? I know your mom is out here and I respect women, so just take a, a slow walk, keep your shoes on. You're not going through airport security. Wow. If you're George's mother, you ought to be very proud of your daughter right now. Hell yeah! Nice work, thank you. So her ideal 
ideal man must have some pretty nice legs because it says her ideal man is funny, muscular, and can leg press more than I can. Her name's Jasmine. Come on out, Jasmine. Oh, yeah. Jasmine, Jasmine, Jasmine. Don't deny this side of the stage, please. Yes. Maybe four or five feet closer. Please don't fall off the stage. Yes. Turn around on three. One, two, three. Yes, there it is. There it is. Jasmine. Hey, Jasmine, it says you like to jet ski and hurricanes. Have you actually done that? You're so crazy. You're so crazy. Thank you, Jasmine. Yes. Hey, and before our next contestant comes out, you got to admit, this is pretty kick-ass to see like a million women out here for a bikini contest and you're drinking cold beers. All right, Amy Brown. Her name is Brown. Amy Brown to the stage. Wow! So I'm not going to be like sexist, but I'm just going to ask men and women alike. Raise your cold Budweiser beer in the air if you'd like to wake up tomorrow morning next to Amy Brown. Oh. One more time, please. I mean, it's just, it took a while to put that bikini on. I sort of feel sorry for those bikini straps up top. They're working overtime today. So remember, the next time you see a female in marching band, think of Amy, because she was one of those ladies. Wow, whoa, 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 what'd you just do? Can you do that again? All right, one more, will you go to the end of the stage and do that? Because like, that's a technique that I've never seen before. Please don't break a, uh, a heel. Go ahead. Boom. Thank you. I'm simply going to ask you if you're ready to see Michelle Skipper in a damn bikini. Not really. Michelle, please walk this stage and work it, girl. Wow. Wow. This is what a resident of St. Cloud, Florida looks like at 98 pounds. I can almost read the expression on your face. She's like, hell yeah, Clinger, hell yes. One more time around the stage, please. Nice. I'm gonna make an assumption, ladies, on your shoes. It doesn't look like you buy that shit at Shoe Carnival. Michelle Skipper, thank you very, very much, and God bless your plastic surgeon because he is an artist. Wow! And you thought Michelle, the push-up queen, would come out in a damn bikini and not do any goddamn push-ups. Michelle, come on, or Margie, Margie, it's Mar Margie. Can we hug this out? I apologize, it's Margie. Give it up for Margie, please. I'm just gonna ask you, enough of what I think. If you think she needs to do some push-ups, just make some noise. Hey, Margie. Can you break out like 50 push-ups real quick? No. Can you break out like 10 push-ups? Like balancing push-ups, like Shanti style from uh, Insanity. I'm just gonna tell you straight up, you'll see this view in about 30 seconds to so simmer down. Oh yeah. One more time, can you do some push-ups this way? And judges, if I were you, I would work your way over this way. I think that's pretty impressive. 
Like, that's pretty damn impressive. Like, take away the sexiness of that. The fact that she can bolt out some push-ups is badass. That's what I'm saying, Margie. Wow. And because it's here, and I respect women, I'm just gonna tell you, this is what 120 pounds looks like. Damn! Hey, Tommy, I'll issue a restraining order on your ass, so sit down, I'll tase your ass. I'll have her tase you. Thank you, Margie, looking good. Give it up for Margie one more time, please. Emily, 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 please make your way to the stage. Boom. Maybe I just need to shut up for the next 45 seconds and let you guys enjoy Emily. Take your time, lovely. you're gonna do that, I'm just gonna say don't deny that side of the stage when you do that. If you think Emily needs a thousand dollars in her pocket at the end of the day, make some noise. Thank you, lovely. It doesn't crack me up because I appreciate Edgar taking this so seriously. I mean, it's a thousand bucks, man. You're legit, dude. You're like all scientific and stuff. Is it time for Heather Diamond to make her way to the stage? Oh, boy. So remember how lucky those three children were when they were born. That's all I'm saying right now. Oh yeah, she's walking around like she should, like, this is what's up. This is what's up. Look at Tommy the philanthropist, hanging out by the stage. Alright, sit down, I seriously will have you ass all stage. I'm just kidding. Nice work, lovely. Take your time, though. Yeah. One time for Heather. Yes. you are asking, so I'll tell you, that's what 112 pounds looks like. Booyah! I would say at least a hundred of it is up top. That's all I'm saying right now. Thank you, lovely. Looking nice. Her name is Amanda. Give it up for Amanda, who looks amazing in a bikini. is like the appetizer, I would say, and if you agree, make some noise. The bikini round is like the main entree. Damn. And don't be selfish if you think this bikini contest is for you, because it's for the children. Wow. Where's the air horn? I want to hear that damn air horn train horn thing. Maybe that guy's like throwing up. Nice. Amanda, give it up for Amanda, please. Yeah, baby, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, top ten. Here we go. Ashley, please step forward. Please go to the stage, the front of the stage. Jennifer Young, please step forward. Corey, Corey, please step forward. Edmir, please step forward. Edmir. Ooh. Miss Renee Matos, please step to the stage. Last name Levita, first name Alyssa, please step forward. 
Margie. Please step forward, you're in the final 10. Number 15, Hey, I'm just gonna say this real quick. Before we wrap up the final 10, all of these ladies are super hot, super cool, and we want to thank all of them for participating today. So give it up for every single lady that you've seen today. Emily, please step forward, Emily. Heather Diamond in the top 10. And our final top 10 is Amanda Cleveland. Give it up for Amanda Cleveland. Thank you ladies for participating. This has been, I think, the best bikini contest that we have had this far. So I need all the ladies in the uh, the top ten to sort of line up single file, maybe in front of all the judges. And from here we go to the final four. And if you're in the final four, actually you're getting some money. First place is a thousand, second five hundred, third two fifty, and third, or fourth place is a hundred. All right, ladies, one by one, we're gonna go contestant number nine right here. We are about to wrap this up and award the top four finalists. Come on out, lovely. Thank you, Jennifer. Looking good. It is time for Amanda Cleveland to the stage. Amanda. I like the red, white, and blue. I really do respect and appreciate all these judges today. Really difficult job. Thank you, Amanda. So Emily, contestant number 24, we call her Emily. Give it up for Emily. Remember, $1,000 first place, 500 bills for second, 250 for third, and $100 for fourth. Thank you, Emily. Bam, bam, bam. I'm gonna say Heather Diamond to the stage, number 26, Heather Diamond. A mommy of three. If you think that those were the three luckiest kids in the world, give some noise. Give it. <laughs> Holy cow, man. Wow. Heather's kicking some ass. Thank you very much. One more time out? All right. We can do that. Look at Tommy, one of the judges, barking off commands. How many people think the judge Tommy's going home in a cop car tonight? <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Renee Matos, please come to the stage, Renee. Who wishes that tattoo on her was a scratch and sniff tattoo. I'm serious. It smelled like roses is what it would be. Classy and I love it. Renee. Make sure you take some time with those judges. Oh yeah. Thank you, Renee. Ooh yeah, very, very nice. All right, contestant number 11, Edmir, please come out. Oh my goodness. Hey, if she's waving to you, you ought to wave back. Wow. Judges, what are you thinking about the final 10? Donnie likes it. Wow. Thank 
you, Edgar. Very, very nice. All right, Ashley, please come to the stage. Ashley. Wow. JJ, are you getting what you need out of the final 10? Yep. JJ being from Italy probably wants to take her to Olive Garden for soup salad and breadsticks, is that right? I'm just saying. One more time, take a loop around, uh, maybe a lap. We're just doing laps, that's all we're doing. Our next contestant in the final 10 is Alyssa. Say hello, Alyssa. <laughs> Alyssa, please turn around so everybody can see you and just hang out for a minute. Alyssa, I need you to do me a quick favor. No jumping jacks, no bend over and grab your ankles, but maybe just like turn around like this and go like this. Break it out, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to see her do that from the front, maybe she needs to do that too. All right, our next contestant is Corey. Make some noise for Corey if you think she needs to uh, be in the final four. If you've got an air horn and you've had 3,000 beers, I want to hear it. Nice. Thank you, Corey. All right, our final member of the top 10 is Margie. Give it up for Margie, AKA the push-up queen. Wow. You wanna see Margie do a flex off with her biceps? Make some noise. So, Miss Superbug 2012, I'm talking about last year, her name's Kristen. Come on up, Kristen. She will award this year's grand prize winner. Fourth place, 100 bucks, and super damn hot is Margie. Come on up, Margie. Booyah. Nice. Give it up for Margie, fourth place. Please turn around so we can take just a couple extra pictures for the Spank Bank 2013. Nice, $100, Margie, you're awesome. Third place, just doing some new age math, 250 bucks. Her name's Ashley. Give it up for Ashley. Nice. Man, this sunshine feels good on Ashley's skin, I bet. One more time, I mean, this is kick-ass. Final Four is pretty awesome. Nice work. Again, we'll have all the pictures. Like, you give a damn, you got all the pictures you need, but we'll have them at 1059thebuzz.com. All right, second place, runner-up. 500 bills. Alyssa, booyah. Get your ass up here, Alyssa. 500 bucks, runner up. But first place in your hearts, I know. The judges are working overtime and we appreciate it. One more time, Alyssa. This is pretty spectacular of you to get runner up. Police to the stage, I need somebody tased. How many people would like to see this dude tased right now? Yeah! And the winner of the 2013 Miss Super Bowl, Ed Near, $1,000. Ed Near, come on up, lovely. Kristen will award this ribbon. Booyah. Make some
some, come on, take your, take your stage. This belongs to you and a thousand dollars.